you make an interesting point. What about that Eamon Malley, that the, the influence of hardliners uh, is waning? Will that give Sinn Féin a freer hand in who they choose now to replace him? Uh, yeah, one would think that, you know, but you cannot predict. I've always said of republicanism, uh, what you see is not necessarily what you think. You've got, to always, you've got to always try and look behind the curtain to see what's going on. You know, these guys, you've got to, re- you've got to realize what went on here. These guys, Adam McGin- and McGuinness, Adams and McGuinness, they exercised the best brains, they taxed the best brains, the combined intelligence and intellectualism of Oxford, Cambridge, Harvard, TCD, UCD, and Maynooth for some 30 years. And those guys are still standing almost 40 years later in leadership roles. And the rest of that uh, of that pool or reservoir of intellectualism has waned. The Tony Blairs, the Albert Reynolds, the, the, the uh, John Majors, the Bill Clintons, they have all gone. That reservoir of absolute intellectualism, Armstrong, Goodall, that whole generation, Nally, uh, Sean O'Higging, that whole generation of, of intellectuals in the Irish Department of Foreign Affairs in London, in the White House, on Capitol Hill, they have all gone, and these guys guys have continued to stand tall and to be leaders in their own communities. Quite an extraordinary phenomenon in our time. 